Hey everybody, it is a hotter than average September day out here and we need to go ahead and get the lettuce into the hydroponic system. So let me show you what's going on. Okay, so this part's pretty darn simple. All we need to do is properly mix the fertilizer with the water, add it to the tub, and then put the lettuces on top. Now, Bobby sent me enough of a sample of this hobby formula, which is one of the formulas that he uses. And I tell you what, y'all, I have been out here using a uh, old gallon jug and measuring teaspoon just to make sure I got this right. And before I forget again, you also need to add in uh, magnesium sulfate or Epsom salt. Now, if you're going out and buying this stuff, I believe Bobby uh, gets it from a company called ChemGrow. Uh, it's one teaspoon per gallon of water for the hobby formula, and then a, a quarter teaspoon of the Epsom salt per gallon as well. Uh, and I've been out here meticulously measuring, and wouldn't you know I came out to having just enough of the hobby formula mix. So Bobby is uh, truly an expert on this. And let me show you a bit about uh, exactly how we're doing this. You'll notice that the water does not come all the way up. That is because in the cracking method, when we're not going to aerate or move the water in any way, there needs to be room for the plant to develop roots that can uh, get the oxygen. And that's what this is going to do for us. The pots will sit through these holes and just about the bottom half inch is going to sit into the water. That's going to keep the grow medium, the rock will, nice and wet and let the roots develop that need to get down into the water and also leave a head space for roots that will use the air. So you notice that some of the uh, formula still stayed on the bottom. I've stirred it up a few times and it's not breaking down so I presume that that's going to be okay. The majority of it has broken down. And now all we need to do, here are the other lettuces precariously being moved by one hand. We will just place that right on top Okay, now if you weren't quite understanding the point with the uh, containers here, we need to keep light out of the water. Or otherwise the water will develop algae and so on. So don't try doing this with clear containers uh, or a clear lid. You see, we're trying to keep as much light out as we possibly can. So you can see from these lettuce, um, I'm not positive on the exact time to bring them out here, but they have developed some true leaves and they're clearly uh, getting too leggy with the kind of lighting I was able to provide them inside. So by bringing them outdoors here in the shade on the front porch, I'm hoping they will do better. Now in our case, I'm also gonna have to erect some kind of fence around this or our outdoor cats will think they simply got a little midday snack here. So if you have any questions about this, go ahead and just leave them below and I will answer them or find the answer for that uh, to the best of my abilities. Thank you all for watching. We'll update you probably, depending on how fast these grow, I'm thinking in two weeks I will show you what the growth looks like. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.